Ooh, what's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again. So, we got some breaking news right now. Tyson. Oh! Fury, the Ben Adormi and Bear Bum in the shower, has broken his silence. On drunk, on drunk, La Coca Gate, yeah? On drunken, La Kinahan Gate, yeah? And, we'll get to that, but this interview's nuts. It's not actually got that many views. It's, it appears to be a new channel, Furiosity by Tyson Fury. So it's only got 20k. No doubt, though, in a few months, it'll probably be a couple hundred k. Either way, you need to check this video out. It's unbelievable. He slagged Usyk off. Usyk's a mid-level amateur, a regional-level amateur. I was playing with Usyk. It's just, honestly, and I'm so glad, yeah, because a lot of people like Eddie Hearn, oh, Tyson, oh, he's a warrior. No, he's a clown. He's actually a clown. He need to be roasted, for sure. Sometimes you have pity on people, but this guy is a goofball. Oh, you see, his, his jaw's broken, he's an amateur. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you know what I'm saying? Imagine getting punched up like you did, yeah? And then what? And he, he, it's not like he's saying, oh, I didn't watch the fight back. He said he watched the fight back. He's watched the fight back. Oh, you, I can barely give you stick four rounds with the knockdown. Right? So take round nine out. He says, he, excluding round nine, he gives you stick two rounds. So out of 11 rounds, he gives you stick two. Oh fuck! Plus all the other things, it's genuinely fascinating. I pray to God, I pray to God that Usyk knock this guy out. Please, Usyk, yeah. In training this time, start digging away, man. You already proved you can press this guy. His defense is no good. Yeah, that's the bottom line. His defense is not like that. So start digging now. Start punching with bad intentions. Because this guy, he needed to be knocked out cold, spot. And he was almost there, so I'm pissed off. Because if Yusek had a bit had a bit more in him, in rounds 9 and 10, he'd have been out of there. Fury had nothing left. He was so slow. So a bit more oomph from not the oomph. Yusek had the oomph in the mentality, in terms of pressing. He had the pressing oomph. He didn't have the, this guy's fucking getting it. Even when they're not, even when the, he, like Yusek was kind of half waiting for the referee to step in. He should have been... Oh, look at Zhang. Zhang wasn't looking for no referee. He was worried about... Zhang wasn't even in a boxing stance. Zhang came running forward like a rhino. <laughs> I swear to God. It reminded me of an elephant. The way Zhang pressed Wilder, yeah. That's how you get on dudes. There's no dancing around. There's no looking for the referee. You get on him and you hit him. And when he's going down, you hit him again. That's how I feel. This guy need here. Yeah? Let, let, let people deal with that afterwards. You hit him until... Like the UFC. The UFC's... That's how the rule should be. You hit someone... Until you get dragged off. Let's not have no state intervention here. We don't need no federal intervention in sports. Oh, let's look for the referee and see if... No. He keep hitting him. Stay on him. At that point, Fury was out. So Usyk was still trying to half box it. He was still trying to have a look. Like, get on him. Get on him. Whack him. Yeah? That's the only thing that was missing from... And it's been missing from Usyk. That killer instinct. That innate... I want to hurt this guy. But again, Usyk is a humanitarian, so I respect that. Anyway, I've waffled, so let's get to the bars from Fury. Reacting to La Coca Gate, La Kinahan Gate. It really just been <clears throat> taking life very simple. I got pissed up about two weeks ago, fell over on my face, didn't do any damage though, still good looking. <laughs> As you do, you know what I mean? When you're like, yeah, it's on! But um, yeah, apart from that, I've not been doing much. I've had lots of messages and lots of people phoning me asking me, am I all right? You go out and have a, a drunken night out and all of a sudden you're going to jump in front of a train. I'm not sure, but obviously from my past history, it's uh, people are concerned. But yeah, apart from that, I've not been doing much to be fair. I've just been chilling out, spending time with my dad. So, in my last videos on this topic, or my, over the last month or whatever, since Mr. Benadorm got smoked and exposed for being a bum in the shower that he self-proclaimed to be. He said, uh, if I can't beat Alexander, I'm a bear bum in the shower. And that's what you are now. Not any bear bum, no. You the Benadormium king. You're from Benadorm. That is, people say, oh, he's from Ireland. No, he's not. Yeah, you're Benadorm is where you're from. Two 70-year-old expats popped you out. I don't even think John Fury is your dad. Apart from the fact your chins are identical. I don't, and you got no power. Apart from the fact, yeah, John Fury, no, he's definitely your dad. But still, in theory, I don't believe Ty Tyson Fury's mum must have been from Benadorm. Because it's too... There's no way. Yeah? 23 and me need to investigate Tyson Fury's lineage. 
No doubt there'll be some ancestral tracings back to Benidorm. Because that's where you're from. You can't deny it. Even your attitude. Yeah, your, at this, your attitude here. Hey! I told you already, Tyson, forget about that now. Yeah, that whole that whole thing of Oy, WBC champion. That's funny when you're champion, right? Oy, yeah, Ties. Yeah, go on, Ties, mate. But Ties, and look, how many people tried to help you off the ground when you was falling on your head? People were stepping back. There was four men outside. Not one came to help. Came to your aid because you washed up. All them jokes about I eat loads, I don't train, and I get on the sniff with Dan the man. That's over now. That stick ain't funny no more. Because you just, you just a washed up dude who like coke, <laughs> right? There's millions of them in the UK alone. That don't make you different anymore. Before it was edgy. Oh, he liked the coca and he WBC champion. Now you just like the coca. That's not edgy anymore. That's sad, right? He can't handle his drink. He'd be drinking too much. And he a fiend for the coca. That's a biblically sad story, right? You need to check into what's that place called? 100%. That's what you need to do. Check in. Get on your, what's his name? Bruno. Get on your Frank Bruno. That's what you need to do right now. Right now, Tyson and Fury need to get on his Frank Bruno. Check into that place. <clears throat> yeah? Sort yourself out. Because you still think it's funny. Right? Hey, you heard him. Swear to God. Couldn't believe it when I heard him do this. Like it's still funny still. Like it's still like that for him. You know what I mean? You're on the night out, son! You know what I mean? When you're on the night out, son! <laughs> As you do, you know what I mean? When you're on the night out, son! Oh my, this guy's 38 years old or something, right? A 40 year old man still cheering. Hey! <laughs> A 40 year old man still cheering about getting on it. Jesus Christ, people. He ain't going to change. And I'm glad for that, to be fair. Because. It'd be more obviously, there's no doubt, there'll be more in it. If he came back and he was serious, yeah, he might have half a chance. He's still doing the same things he's doing. He hasn't changed. He still thinks, he's still delusional. Oh, I won that fight. Tyson, yeah, you got clipped in the ninth round and did nothing. That's the evidence. You was running for your life. You were so slow. You didn't, I can't, I can't remember if you, Fury landed a good punch in the last three rounds. So forget about that. Yeah? And deep down, I think he knows. He knows. I mean, he, he, down, he watched the fight back, so he d definitely knows. And this is kind of a way to trivialise it. Oi! Oi, come on, lads. Let's have the old times again. Oi, oi. No one's laughing now. Though. It's not funny now. Like I said, it's not. It's not funny now, Tyson. It's over. That whole shtick is over. Yeah? Eddie yeah, Hearn, everyone else sucking him off. Well, everyone can have a drink. Not when you've been punched up. I don't believe you can. You need to be focused. You had no conditioning. That's the fact. You didn't. You was out of gas after six, seven rounds. So slow after six, seven rounds. That's fitness. Right? Did nothing after six, seven rounds. In the first two or three, you lost anyway. He did three rounds. Tyson Fury bot. He ran from the minute the minute the bell went. It's really quite contradictory, yeah. The minute the bell went, Fury runs out to the centre and then back. <laughs> he was backpedaling the whole night. He was saying, "You six going to run from me?" Oops. It was spark in front of you. And it's only really because of Alexander Usyk's humanitarian kind of leanings that he saved you. Yeah. Because you could have been, hundred percent. If it weren't for Alexander, saving your ass, forgiving your ass, I wouldn't have done. And I hope the next time, punch this guy up, man. Punch this guy up for sure. Punch him up for avenge my coin, Alexander. Avenge my coin. My coin need to be avenged. Them hundred bucks a bet fair bump from me. You must avenge them coins. Yeah, them coins will never rest until you avenge them. And this guy, he needs it. He needs it. No excuses, oh, I was this, I was that, I was playing with him. No excuses. Good and proper, knocked out. Yeah, that's what he needs. Because he's, he's irritating now. It's, for me, it's irritating now.
Yeah, you talked a big game about what he's going to do, and you did none of it. Okay, four, five, and six, you did something. Five and six mainly, but for three rounds, you did something, and then you did nothing. After all that waffling, there was no warrior spirit. Oh, he got up. No, I don't want to hear that no more. Yeah. Any man, 99% of men who get hit, get up. So it's not about, it's not a big, I hate to break, it's not really not a big feat. You can watch White Collar, yeah? And dudes get knocked down and get up. It's really not like that. Most people will get up if they can. What's hard is, what Usyk did, getting through rounds five and six, it was looking like a wrap for him, coming back and flipping a script. Something which Usyk's done many times. Dubois knocked him out to the body. He come back, make Dubois quit. AJ had a good go. And Usyk came back like a, a, a freight train. That's hard. Being clipped and being saved by the referee and given 30 seconds to recover, that's not really hard, people. The majority of the population will get up if they can. That's the truth. It wasn't like Fury was being battered and broken down, right? He got clipped. Being clipped and getting up is really not that difficult, in my opinion. I ain't gonna lie. Now, if you've been battered and you're being bludgeoned everywhere and then you get clipped, that's different. But it wasn't that kind of fight for him, right? It wasn't like he was being broken down and he's, he's war pushing through. He got clipped, got his nose busted in round eight. He got his clipped in round nine and then got up and did nothing. There was nothing definitively hard. Usyk had a hard round and come back and did something. So Fury, for me, got it all to prove. It's easy to come back from adversity when you're fighting a basketball player. That's my base case. It's easy to come back from adversity when you're fighting a, a cruiserweight, Cunningham. What do you do when you're in there with someone who's half decent? Fury hasn't shown actually yet. He's only shown heart against a cruiserweight basketball player in Steve Cunningham and a kind of an NBA All Star level basketball player in Deontay Wilder. Do you know what I mean? And even then, he, he, he was a cruiserweight, right? You got Steve Cunningham, the cruiserweight, and then you got Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder's a cruiserweight, people. All due respect. He's not a heavyweight. He's just not. Weighing in 212, 214. I think he weighed 209 for one fight. Have a look. Deontay Wilder box wreck. Let's have a look at this cat's weight. I'm sure he was 209 for one of the fights. Maybe the second fight. Um, Fury's 2. Where's Fury 1? Fury 1 there. He was 212. Fury 2. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's 238. Okay, he's 212 then. He was 212 for Fury 1. So he's a cruiserweight, people. That's a cruiserweight. 10 pounds, Devin Haney loses that at 140. A cruiserweight losing 10 pounds is nothing. You can do that in not drinking for a day. One of them ones. So, he a cruiserweight, ultimately. So your Tyson Fury's claim to fame is being hard against two cruiserweights, basketball players, ex-NBA stars. Come on, bro. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell, 100%. Not that bad. Stop it.